Welcome to the Folktale Project, this is Dan Shaws. This week we're looking at the original stories of Jean de La Fontaine, and this tale... This is a very Aesop-sounding tale, but once again we are assured by the author, or translator, Frederick Tilney, that this is one of La Fontaine's tales. This is The Hare and the Partridge. Never mock at other people's misfortune, for you cannot tell how soon you yourself may be unhappy. Aesop the sage has given us one or two examples of this truth, and I am going to tell you of a similar one now. A hare and a partridge were living as fellow citizens very peacefully in a field, when a pack of hounds making an onset obliged the hare to seek refuge. He rushed into his form and succeeded in putting the hounds at fault. But here, the scent from his overheated body betrayed him. Towler, philosophizing, concluded that this scent came from his hair, and, with admirable zeal, routed him out. Then, old trusty who is never at fault proclaimed that the hair was gone away. The poor, unfortunate creature at last died in his form. The partridge, his companion, thought fit to soothe his last moments with some scoffing remarks upon his fate. "'You boasted of being so swift,' she said. "'What has come to your feet then?' But, even as she was chuckling, her own turn came. Secure in the belief that her wings would save her whatever happened, she did not reckon upon the cruel talons of the hawk. And that is The Hare and the Partridge. As I said, it's a very Aesop-like fable, but still, there's something about it that seems very, very La Fontaine, and not very Aesop. This is Dan Scholes for The Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you like to get your podcasts. You can follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio, Spotify, anywhere you like to listen. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com, where you'll find a new story waiting for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. As always, thank you so much for listening. <laughs>